And I really thought that this was funny because that is wrong. So this person is wrestling with the concept of infinity and I totally get it because infinity, it's such an unintuitive concept. It's so foreign to our brains to think about infinity and infinite quantities that it's just very hard to wrap your head around any statement that involves infinity. Especially if you're not mathematically trained, then it is very difficult to work with any concept of infinity and try to do something with a problem that involves infinite quantities. The question here is seemingly simple. If you have an infinite amount of $1 bills and an infinite amount of $20 bills, do you have the same amount of dollars? And he says no, uh, and let me show you his way of thinking about it. I started with 19 more dollars than you. You're not going to make up that difference because one, you're counting by ones, I'm counting by twenties. Now, the first thing we need to come up with an answer is to define infinity. Infinity means larger than any finite quantity. So we will have the same amount of dollars if we both have more than any finite quantity. Now, the second problem I see here is that I think in his head, there are two infinities happening at the same time. There is the infinity of all the dollars I'm going to get, but also the infinite amount of time that it's going to take for those dollars to come in. There is sort of like a dollar every hour or a $20 bill every hour, and then who has more money at the end of time? So let's try to get rid of one of those infinities, the infinite amount of time, and see what happens in a 24-hour period. So let's try to reframe the problem so everything happens in 24 hours instead of an infinite amount of time. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to get dollars every time I go through a halfway mark to the end of the 24 hours. So uh, after 12 hours, I get money. Then half of that will be after six more hours. So after 18 hours, I get money. Then half of the remaining time is three hours. And then I get 20, uh, the 21 hour, I will get money. And then if you expand that little interval, then I will get money after 22.5 hours and then so on and so forth. And I will end up getting money infinitely many times but at the end of the day, after 24 hours, we are done and we can count who has more money. And another problem I see is that he is trying to count how much money we have at a finite time instead of sort of at the infinite amount of time. So in here, the equivalent is that we want to know what happens exactly after 24 hours. And I don't care who is winning along the way. I really want to know what happened at the end of the 24 hour period. And again, to figure out how much money I have, if I have infinite amount of money, I just need to know, do I have more than any given finite quantity? And now suppose I'm getting dollars. So now at some point, I want to know, do I have more than a million dollars? Well, after I have gone through a million of those partitions, I will have a million dollars. And if I want a billion dollars, after I've gone through a billion of those partitions, I have a billion dollars and so on and so forth until I have an infinite amount of money. Now, if I'm going in $20 intervals, so I'm getting $20 here, $20 here and so on. If I want a million dollars, then I have to do 50,000 intervals and I will be at the million dollar mark. After, if I want a billion dollars, then I have to get whatever, 50 million uh, intervals and I will be at the billion dollar mark and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, we have the same amount of money because we both made an infinite amount of money. We both made more than any finite quantity. And at that point, after 24 hours, I can't even compare who has more money. I have more than any finite quantity and you have, with the $20 bills, you have more than any finite quantity. So we both have more than any finite quantity. So we both have an infinite amount of money and that's the same amount of money in terms of infinity. Now, if you stop at any finite time, then yes, the person who is getting $20 at a time has more money at that time than the person that is getting $1 at a time. But by the time we get to the 24 hour mark, we both have the same amount because we both have more than any finite quantity, so we both have an infinite amount of dollars 
and it's just the same quantity.